So I was driving down Route 66 and I thought, I should buy a gas station. Why the hell do you want to buy a gas station? Well, because we're playing Gas Station Simulator, dummy. Okay, that makes sense. Anyways, we found one right here, so let's go check it out. Are you really just going to stop in the middle of the road like that? Are you going to pipe down and let me get on with the story or not? Okay, I'm done. Thank you. Sure thing, boss. Really? Sorry, not another word. Alright, here we go. We just bought the old Dust Bowl gas station out in the middle of who knows where. I don't know. And apparently 12 hours later, we're going to wake up in some creepy pea-stained mattress bed here in a room full of junk and trash. And I guess we waited till dark time to see this place because this place is a... What a shithole. Yeah, that's kind of my thoughts too. Anyways, let's get on with it. So I'm assuming the question mark is going to lead us somewhere so we can get the electricity turned on in this place. And by the looks of the sparking wires and all, I think this place needs a little more than just cleaning up. Let's go check it out. We'll see what we can do to get some electricity going in here. Alright, so we're going to flip the switch on this generator and see what happens here. And it doesn't look very promising, does it? Oh, we got a nice little view of the city skyline up there. All right, task complete. So we do have power, and we didn't get fried by the electricity yet. Yeah, this place looks pretty rough. Looks like it was abandoned or something like that. I don't know. Old 1983 computer terminal here. All kinds of trash and junk everywhere that I imagine we're going to have to clean up eventually here. But we'll head out and check out this next objective marker here. You know, I just want to say I'm pretty leery about an old telephone that's ringing out in the middle of nowhere in a desert. Congratulations on your purchase and investment, little nephew. Oh, hi, Uncle Whoever. Yeah, I don't know if you should be congratulating me on this purchase. Yes, I'm a busy person. Yeah, Uncle, apparently I'm going to be real busy too. That the land you've purchased once belonged to my father. Since you are not only a potential business partner, but family no less, I'll do my best to help you. I will send you emails on a regular basis providing you with information on how to handle each part of the business. Do make sure to pay attention. Well, I must head off now. It was pleasant speaking to you again. Good luck. Okay, Uncle Touchy. I'll be waiting for your emails. And why can't I pick up the money there? Okay, I guess we're off to our next waypoint here to see what else we have to do. So, I think this email is just kind of telling us what our Uncle Touchy just told us. Oh, uh, hold on. I sold my car for this place? Okay, so that was a dumb move, but I guess now I'm stranded here and I'm going to have to make it work. Yeah, like I said, this place has been abandoned or something here. There is so much to do here. But I guess we'll head on over to our next waypoint here and see what this is all about. Oh, look at this. A bobcat. Can we drive it? Can we drive it? Let's excavator reset. Oh, look at We can drive it. We can drive it. Oh, this is, this is great. I'm back to loving the game again now. Well, there you have it. We ran out of gas in our own gas station. We're off to a great start. Okay, so I guess it's back to the computer. We've got a couple more emails. And the excavator reset button takes it right back to where it was parked. So nice. Might be able to use that to our advantage sometime. Okay, so the excavator's name is Rudy, and we need to go find a jerry can now. I'll bet this next waypoint leads us right to a jerry can. There's our jerry can, so hopefully now we have a little bit of fuel which is probably all watered down, rusty, nasty ass sitting around in this old gas station. But hopefully we get a little bit of fuel so we can play around on Rudy for a bit. 
So we go in our inventory, we pull out our jerry can, and we just click on the fuel pump, and that fuels it up for us. Easy peasy. Now we get to go play on Rudy and get rid of all these sand piles around here. Oh, this is going to be kick-ass. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Okay, so when we use our bucket to pick up sand, it overheats our turbos and we have to cool them down with the right mouse button. And also when we use the turbos, they heat up and use more fuel, so we have to use the right mouse button to cool them down. So that's not a problem here. Also, the email said not to dump the sand anywhere else except for in a sand disposal area or somewhere off of the gas station's property. I don't think they would like it if I piled it all up in the road. Although we might try that sometime here. Okay, so we're going to finish cleaning up all these sand piles and I'll be right back with you in a second here. That took the whole day and night cycle to finish cleaning up all those sand piles and I hope it wasn't a waste of time like they're going to reappear but I wanted to get them all out of the way because I imagine we're going to have to do it sooner or later anyways. We also have another email at the 1983 vintage computer in here too. So it appears there's a switch out on the sign that we can flip on and off to open and close the gas station. So let's go open this thing up and see what kind of trouble we can get into. Nice. We're finally open for business. Maybe we can start making a couple of bucks now. Or actually, somehow we got $450 to our name, somehow. Wonder what this button does with the picture of the UFO over it. You better not push it. Yeah, we'll save it for when we have some cars and customers in here and see what it does. So now the waypoints are telling us we have no more fuel and we've got a new email. So let's go check out this new email. I'm really hoping this is something that's going to let us start cleaning up this gas station because this mess is bugging me bad. Oh, nice. We have fuel supply opened up for us now. So how much do we want to get? I guess we'll go with the lower 100 liters. Why is it not gallons? We're in the U.S. It should be gallons. But I guess we'll go with the 100 liters for now and start with that. Things are starting to look up now. We made our first purchase. We've got some gas coming. Hopefully we can start pumping gas into some people's cars. I really want to figure out how to start cleaning this place up. Can't serve customers in here with it looking like that. Is there anything else in here we can do? We got tools, but they're all locked right now. So I guess we'll go see what our next waypoint is to find out what else we can do. I guess before we make it to our next waypoint, we have a customer coming in. Boy, are they in for a shock when they see this place. Look at flies crawling all over us and everything. Hey lady, you're going to have to hold on a few minutes. We just got our fuel delivery. And i got to go fill the tank before I can fill your gas tank. How does this work? I see there's a knob that we can turn, but I don't see anything else I can interact with right yet. Oh, the hose goes automatically. We turn the knob. And do I have to stand here and wait for it? Our low fuel indicator just went off, so maybe I'll go try to fuel this lady's car up while our tank's getting filled.
I'm going to assume I need to stop the needle in the outline that's on the fuel gauge. I hope I'm reading this correctly. And it says press left shift for starting boost, but I'm a little leery about trying that right now. But hey, anyways, there you go, lady. You got your fuel. Now let's go see what we have to do with this truck over here. Oh, the fuel truck automatically leaves. Nice. So now we'll go check out this waypoint marker here and see what else we're supposed to do to uh, what we can unlock next. Oh, sweet. We get to play a video game. All right, we're going to race an RC car to earn 20 bucks. Okay, let's see if we can do this or not. Alright, it's going to take a few times of practicing this. This thing is so touchy with the left and right turns. I'm wrecking and crashing everywhere. Well, no $20 grand prize for us. Alright, let's get back to hopefully starting to clean up our gas station. Oh, better yet. We have a customer out here that wants gas. So that'll give us a few more bucks. I was worried I'd go over budget. Nah, don't worry, buddy. We'll keep you under budget here. All right, we got another marker, so let's go check our old vintage computer. And we got tools. Oh. Finally, we get some trash bags. Now maybe we can start picking stuff up around here. And the best part about them is, they were free. Task complete. No, we're not done cleaning this place up yet. So I'm going to run around, pick up some more stuff, get some stuff thrown away in the dumpster, and I'll be back with you in a few minutes. So as I'm throwing stuff away, we got another marker on the computer here, so we're going to go check it out and see what we got. Something else in tools? Oh, nice. We got a broom. So, so far, we got the trash bags, the broom, and the paint roller is still locked. Let's try out our new broom. All right, it's not working too good here. I uh, see we gotta be right on top of it. And I hope we can get a little quicker with this broom. There's a lot to clean up here. Maybe we'll figure something out with it as time goes on. Looks like as long as we're right on top of stuff, it sweeps it up pretty quickly. Hey, all right, we've got customer number three now. Oh, it's a policeman. We better fill him up right. Only about a quarter of a tank. Hey, we'll take it. It's all money in the bank, right? Great. All right, another satisfied customer. So we're going to jump back into cleaning up some more of this place. Maybe we can start getting it to look a little better and get some people inside eventually. And I think I saw somewhere on our old vintage computer that we can order dumpster pickup or trash hauling. I'll have to check that out here in a few minutes because our dumpster is getting kind of full. Our notification bar is showing that we have another email, so we'll have to check that out here in a second. Holy shit, man, there's a rattlesnake. Oh, yeah, this is going to start getting interesting now if we have to deal with snakes, too. I mean, I know this is just like a tutorial part here, but it's kind of mundane and boring in the beginning, just like any other game, really, getting through the basics. Mm. 
So for right now, it seems like you can't interact with the snakes. They just kind of show up and make an appearance. I don't know. We'll find out as the game goes on, I guess. I'm also thinking that the trash you put in here has got to be contained within the dumpster. It kind of stays highlighted if it doesn't go all the way into the dumpster. I think we're going to hang on to this pylon. Maybe we'll put it up here in front of the fire hydrant for now. I guess it can't hurt. Hopefully it doesn't count against our cleanliness. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, sweet. We do get garbage collection. And... It looks like it's even free. There's another bonus. See if we can get some more stuff packed in here before he shows up and takes it. Event Dennis. Dennis will appear occasionally and paint graffiti on the wall. Stop him by throwing objects at him. A little, little, little pecker head. There he is right there. Let's see if we can throw a tie. Oh, he just stink bombed us. Stink bombs kind of slow us down. There we go, we'll bounce tires off of them. Where'd you go, you little brat? You painting on my walls. Ah, he stink bombed us again. <laughs> All right, so that's something else we gotta watch out for is that little brat, huh? Hey, nice, we've got another customer out here. Another pretty cool looking old firebird looks like. We'll gladly fill you up there. Okay, the boost helps speed up the process of filling tanks. That's good to know. I think we're going to have to start using that more often. Hey, let's see what else we have on the old pewter here. Oh, we got some more tools. All right, we get a we get the paint roller now. So we can start spiffing this place up some. Nice, nice. Oh, and there is our trash collector there. Sweet. Yeah, see, I was wondering if he took everything or just what was contained inside of the dumpster. Let's try to throw this and get rid of that before he leaves. That's nah, too late. Yeah, so everything's got to be kind of down inside the dumpster before he'll take it. Now, I kind of want to try this paintbrush out and see how well this works. Kind of interested in seeing how, how well the paint works, how long it stays, if you have to keep repainting. Oh, we need to stay in the green line here. What happens if we go out of the green line? Part of my lines are circles buried. Oh, okay. Yeah, this looks nice. This looks better. It'll brighten it up a whole lot more. Press left shift for more colors. We only have a couple of colors to work with now. It looks like we'll probably get more colors the more we level up, though. So I think we're going to call this a breaking point right here. And we'll pick this up tomorrow and start right where we left off here. I hope you guys are enjoying watching this as much as I'm enjoying playing it. Like I said, this is my first time ever playing a simulator game. I'm pretty excited about it. It seems to be fairly fun. I hope it picks up in pace a little more. But this is probably just the tutorial part of it right now. But we'll pick up tomorrow and continue right here where we left off. Also, let me know down in the comments if you like these types of games or not. And if it's anything you're interested in watching, I'm probably going to do a couple, at least a couple of videos on this. And who knows, maybe we'll do a series out of it. But let me know down in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Hey, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons.